According to the framers of the Public Universities Bill, it seeks to harmonize the finances, administration, and governance structure of public universities. The bill in its current form gives government the power to appoint the majority of members of the university council. The council then has the power to appoint and fire public university officials. UTAG, the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, among other groups, have criticized the intent and provisions of the bill. Peter Nochukotoe spoke to City News on what has necessitated the suspension of the consideration of the bill. And uh, we have recommended that in view of the criticism and the number of uh, petitions that we have received, it will be better for government to hold on with the uh, uh, passing of uh, the bill because there's the need still for greater consultation. So it will not feature as part of uh, the bills we are doing for this uh, meeting of uh, parliament. I have already uh, many a time said that uh, that bill was not necessary because it was going to stifle the freedom of uh, uh, the universities. Yeah, so academic freedom will be stifled. So government should withdraw it. So I've been of that position long ago. So if it does not go through, better for uh, government. The minority leader, Harun Idrisu, at a press briefing later on Thursday, called on government to halt what he describes as the illegal charge of $150 at the Kotoka International Airport for COVID-19 testing. It is illegal, not just exploitative, it is unlawful. And we are demanding that even if you want, to what use is the money? We need to know. We can all decide as a country, if they come properly, to streamline it so that we can create a public health emergency fund and dedicate that money into that fund. But it cannot be done capriciously to borrow somebody's words or whimsically. Also, the National Population Council at a meeting to interact with the Parliamentary Caucus on Population and Development urged MPs to strengthen advocacy on issues related to population growth. Educate the people on family planning, etc., uh, is not working in the cultural setting. That is why we have come to seek your, your, your support. Because you are the mouthpieces, you are policy makers. Human beings in, in, in countries actually react to policy. I remember in 1974 when they said we should do the left hand drive, everybody did it. So policy would help us go on the right path. And that is why we are here for guidance and for support.